Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Josh Phillips, and if you are watching this, then you are probably enrolled in my CAS 101 uh, summer course for summer 2021. It begins on June 30th. Um, I have emailed this to you. Today we are going to talk about how this class is laid out through Canvas. Uh, this is a web-based course. Uh, there are no formal meetings that will be happening face-to-face -face live on Zoom, with the exception of one day for an individual presentation. So today, what I'm going to do is run through the syllabus and let you know how the class is going to unfold. Uh, and this is really you working uh, on your own to, comp uh, to complete the course. Um, a couple of things to, to uh, touch on before we get into uh, the logistics of the course. Um, I want you to sort of stop what you're doing right now and go ahead and get onto Canvas. Uh, go under Files and then click on the syllabus so you can follow along with the syllabus. I have a few screenshots of the syllabus throughout this quick little PowerPoint that you can look at, but I really want you to have your own syllabus open um, so you can follow along, all right? And the second thing I wanna mention is, uh, just because this is a web-based course, it is not a uh, choose your own adventure, work at your own pace course. There are things that are due regularly in this class. Um, so every Friday, a cache of assignments will be due that you will have to have completed throughout the week. Um, and I'll sort of talk about how that works. Uh, and the reason I do that is because when it comes to web-based courses, um, my experience tells me that unless students have regular deadlines, a lot of them try to wait until the last minute. They end up turning in um, some of the work at the last minute. They don't get credit for it. Uh, and then they end up failing the course and ends up being a waste of time and money on their part. I don't want that to happen. So we do have um, sort of regular check-in times, uh, but it is... Um, access uh, the YouTube channel daily, listen to the lesson, uh, follow along on the assignments, and I'm hoping that things are well organized now that I've done this for about a year during COVID, uh, that it should be fairly easy for you to follow along. Uh, but again, I'm going to take a moment here to sort of tell you how that's going to work. Uh, and then just sort of every morning during the weekday, you can open up Canvas, there'll be a new folder in there, you click on it and you see what sort of what, what things you need to do that day in order to just stay ahead of the course material. Um, you are welcome uh, to work ahead. And in some instances, I would highly recommend that if you're having a slow week, go ahead and get started on the next week's assignments. Um, my goal is to have the entire class posted from now until uh, August 13th. Uh, I, my plan is to have all of that posted within the next week or two so that you can really work um, on your at your own pace as long as you're moving forward, right? You don't wanna get stuck behind, all right? Okay, so a few items here. Um, again, time location, it's on the web. Um, there is no sort of formal Zoom meeting, but there will be one day where you and I individually meet on Zoom to do a presentation. My office hours, I'm just sort of having open office hours during the weekdays, because uh, we're not physically in the classroom until fall. Uh, but nine to five, if you need to get a hold of me, nine to five, Monday through Friday, you're welcome to. Here's my email address as well as my phone number. Uh, use them, all right? Um, if you have any questions about the class, uh, we can go ahead and talk. All right, uh, the books that you'll need. So there's an Armfield and Morgan book, which is the textbook. You, you're welcome to get it if you want. Um, the, the majority of the things that you'll need to know are located in the YouTube uh, videos that I'll be posted. So um, if for whatever reason you can't afford it or you don't have access to it, I wouldn't worry about it. Um, it will be helpful on the final exam, for instance. Um, however, again, um, a lot of things from the PowerPoint are going to sort of cover a lot of the textbook material. These two books you absolutely need, Dostoevsky's Notes from Underground, as well as Ernest Hemingway's uh, The Old Man and the Sea. You'll be reading these about halfway through the semester, and the themes of these books play into your individual presentation, right? So when we talk about intrapersonal communication, so the communication you have with yourself, We'll talk about sort of uh, setting goals and creating a map for yourself throughout, you know, your academic career uh, into the early stages of your, you know, career when you're in, you start to in your uh, starting to hit on your mid twenties. That's what Dostoevsky and Hemingway are about. There will be handouts associated with this, so you need to read these books and do these handouts. Again, this is something that you can get um, ahead on. All right, so if you are a person who's a little bit slower with regard to your reading. You can start reading these now. The handouts will be posted very, very soon um, under the date designated, and you can see that on your syllabus on the tentative schedule uh, when these when these handouts are due and when these readings should happen. All right. So um, there's also several articles that you're going to be reading in Canvas. 
uh, there's a little folder that says additional readings. Um, you will have uh, PowerPoints or excuse me, YouTube videos associated with these. So in a couple of days, you will be asked to read Plato's Apology. There, it is PDF formatted for you on Canvas. You don't need to buy it anywhere. Uh, but then also associated with Plato's Apology, there will be a YouTube video from me that explains Plato's Apology. Um, and from the reading that you will be doing, as well as uh, my explanation on it uh, via YouTube, you'll have a paper due on Plato's Apology. All right, uh, the same is true with, you'll read uh, Frederick Douglass' speech. Uh, you'll read Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven. Um, there's a short uh, pamphlet called All Minus One, which is based on John Stuart Mill's um, On Liberty. So uh, when you read that, there'll be a handout, right? But all this stuff is PDF formatted for you. Um, and again, in the syllabus, it'll tell you the days that you should be engaging with those readings. And if you want to get ahead on the readings, just jump ahead on the syllabus and you can start reading these things, um, you know, today. Okay, so there's a lot of information going on this page. Okay, so first and foremost, check Canvas every Monday through Thursday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, there are things posted for you. All right, um, I'm treating this like a regular in-person class. That means you should be engaging with the classroom material for about two hours a day for a summer class if you do it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. If you put everything off till Friday, it's gonna be about eight hours worth of stuff that you're gonna have to do, especially when those assignments are due on Friday. Pace yourself two hours, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, two hours per day, and things will be pretty easy for you to get all your assignments in by Friday at, uh, at 10 o'clock at night is when all your assignments for the week are due, all right? There's always something to do. There's always gonna be YouTube videos of my lectures. Um, everything for the week is due on Friday. I'll show you what this looks like here in a moment. Um, and then again, you can get ahead of schedule if you like uh, once I start getting these things uh, posted up, all right? For late work, there is no late work allowed, all right? The semester is too condensed. Um, I need to stay ahead of the grading and you need to stay ahead on the material. So please do not email me in week number three and say, can I turn in something from week number one? Uh, it's, it's, it's not gonna happen, all right? So everything's due Friday at 10 o'clock, pace yourself. Um, when you are turning things in on Canvas, so you can upload it in Canvas, just make sure that it's a Word document or a PDF document. Uh, sometimes people try to link to Google Docs or do these like weird, I don't know, formats. Um, Word and PDF always open for me. Sometimes students use uh, other formatted ways and it doesn't always pop up on, on Canvas. So make sure you're using Word or PDF, all right? Um, again, with regard to attendance, it's a web class, so there's no formal attendance, but I will be posting things every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Figure out a time, two hours every weekday that we have that we have class um, and just schedule it for yourself, right? So I know we're working around work schedules, family schedules, life schedules. The best thing to do is tell yourself every day at 5 p.m. I'm going to sit down in front of my laptop and from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. I'm going to engage with CAS 101, all right? Do that every day. Keep whatever schedule you need to keep um, so you make sure that everything is turned in on time. You don't get behind. All right, the big thing is when you open up Canvas, all right, CAS 101, all right, you're gonna open up files. Files and grades are the only two little tabs you need to worry about. I know there's like 20 tabs, but files and grades, that's everything. So for instance, right now, if you open up files, you're gonna notice that the syllabus that you've already hopefully are, have opened, right? And then June 30th, which is today. Every day I'm gonna post, um, a, a bunch of several pieces of material in that day for things that you should be working on that day and they're going to correspond with the syllabus so if you open when you open up the june 30th folder um this is the word document you're going to get so it's going to tell you three different things you should be doing first you should watch the welcome video which what that's what you're watching right now right so this that link will be there then you're going to watch these two videos on the quote unquote the humanities right which are lectures that i've given uh, for other classes to explain what the humanities are, right? And then in correspondence with these videos, the assignment you should be thinking about that will be due on Friday um, is the three list of 10 assignment, right? So in this June 30th folder, there's also a Word document that says three list of 10 assignment. You can open that up and there'll be an explanation for what that three list of 10 assignment is, all right? Um, so this is just sort of your to-do list for June 30th. The next time we have class, which will be July 1st, right? So Thursday, July 1st, 
there'll be a folder that says Thursday, July 1st. All right, click on Thursday, July 1st, multiple things. All right, uh, if you ever get behind on things or you're not sure what you're supposed to do, again, pick up the phone and call me. All right, so I guess we'll start there, right? Reach out if you ever need any help. If you don't communicate with me, I have no idea what's going on. Sometimes people miss class because they're just tired of the class. They're going to drop it anyway. Sometimes people miss class because they have um, personal emergencies. Sometimes people miss class and miss assignments because they have no idea what's going on. If you don't tell me the reason why you're not, you know, engaging with the course, I can't do anything about it. So just pick up the phone. All right. With regard to preparation, there will be several assignments due every Friday. All right. Several again, because it's only a six week course. So there's going to be two, three, four assignments due every Friday. All right. So again, if um, you can start working on the three list assignment today, so you're not doing the three list of 10 and you have an APA quiz due on Friday. All right. So space it out. Do, you know, one assignment per day and everything will be fine by Friday. You're welcome to upload it early. All right. These assignments are due by 10 p.m. every Friday. Assignments received after 10 p.m. are considered late, will not receive any credit. Canvas gives me a little notification if you turned in the assignment late. And I'm not gonna, you know, you're not gonna get credit for it. All right. Um, that's just the short version of, of, of everything. All right. Um, you're expected to read the course material, right? I'll be providing the lecture via YouTube. Right. However, it's my expectation that you're going to do a, some sort of deep dive into your paper. So everything that you're going to include in your papers might not necessarily come from my lecture. All right. And my expectation that it doesn't, because otherwise all you're doing is summarizing and regurgitating just my lecture. And that's very boring because I already know what I said in my lecture. All right. So you should have a more robust discussion about the reading material for the day besides what's just in my lecture. All right. If you again, if you have any problems with the assignments, call me before things are due. Do not try to get a hold of me on a Monday and say, I missed all my stuff from Friday. Call me Friday morning, call me Thursday afternoon, all right? Um, for things that are due Friday, if you're, you know, if you need some help on Friday's assignments, get a hold of me before stuff is due. After things are due, I've moved on. You also need to move on because you have a whole new round of things to turn in the following Friday, all right? So get a hold of me before things are due. Uh, make it easy for everyone. Emails and phone calls, all emails should be submitted with professionalism, right? Um, tell me. You know, Dr. Phillips, I'm from this class. This is my question. Thank you very much. Don't just say, I get these emails. They're like text messages. Hey, man, what's up? What's due this week? I don't know because I teach multiple classes. So I don't know what class you're from, right? So make sure you're telling me, hi, Dr. Phillips. This is, you know, John from CAS 101. And, you know, I have some questions about this assignment or whatever, right? Just be formal about it. Uh, please allow me one uh, one full business day to return uh, everything. One full business day means Friday at 5 o'clock, I am not on the internet or email or accessing my phone until Monday morning. That's the only way I can stay sane in a digital world that has been ramped up, especially from COVID uh, stuff. So you need a break from me. I need a break from you all. Uh, I answer stuff Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. So if you get a hold of me late on Friday night and expect an answer, you know, by Saturday morning, it's not going to happen. All right. Business days. Um, you're welcome to call, FaceTime me, text, etc. Again, just keep it Monday through Friday, nine to five. I'm not going to answer your phone calls or respond to your text messages if you're sending them at 10 o'clock at night. Um, so again, if you have a question about an assignment due on Friday and you text me at Thursday night at 10 p.m., I'm not going to get back to you right away. All right. I'm going to wait until Friday morning. All right. Um, do not call me outside of work hours. I'm not going to respond. The end. Uh, as far as assignments, this is your list of assignments. Many of them are they're relatively short and quick, um, but, you know, they are going to take some time. So, again, just take it one day at a time. Um, but just because it's a web course where we're not checking in doesn't mean that you can just binge on everything Friday morning and expect to get all the assignments done by Friday at 10 p.m. Um, in a way that is going to, you know, show that you understand the material. Um, all right, but this is a breakdown of what the grades look like. This is on your syllabus, and you can go over it on your own. All right, I will be explaining all of these uh, assignments in detail as they come up throughout the semester. All assignments for the week are due Friday by 10 p.m. Uh, turn things in early if you want, and again, upload to Canvas with a Word or a PDF document. Okay, and finally, this is the last thing, right? And then we just go over into uh, starting the class. This is the beginning of what the schedule looks like at the bottom of your syllabus. So if you go to the last page of your syllabus, 
This is the tentative schedule. And as you see, today's the 30th and we just covered the syllabus, right? And you are also gonna have a discussion about the humanities, which is two YouTube uh, lectures that I've already posted. Um, so you can watch both of those. And based off of those, you can start to think about your three list of 10 assignment, um, which is due Friday at 10 p.m. All right, tomorrow, which, is th which will be uh, for you all uh, July 1st, so the next day of class, um, there is a YouTube video on APA, all right? I understand that APA is not the most exciting thing to sit through for 30 minutes, especially as I'm talking about it, right? But it's something that you need to learn with regard to citing sources correctly, how APA works. Um, it's the language and the format of higher education, of academic life, right? You know, knowing how to cite things and to speak to other scholars through references. Um, that's how scholars have conversations, right? If you sit back and you say, I just have an opinion about something and you ramble on for 30 minutes, nobody's gonna take you seriously because they're gonna to wanna to know where are your sources, who are the other people you agree with? Do you understand the material that you disagree with? This is what APA does. It allows me to say I've consumed arguments from 30 other people and now I'm gonna jump into the conversation while I cite and talk about the 30 other people's ideas. I'm gonna add my own ideas to the mix or my own twist on the ideas to the mix. This is how APA, this is why citations work, right? So we use APA because we're in the social sciences. There is MLA, which if you're an English major, uh, Chicago style, American Medical Association, there's these other ways of citing things. We're using APA. You need to learn how to do APA. There is um, a video for it that you will watch on your own on Thursday. And then you have a quiz, which is posted up on Canvas. Um, fill out that quiz and submit it through Canvas uh, for the grade, all right? Um, so that's what the syllabus looks like. Uh, if you look at next week, um, on Monday of next week, you will have an open mind assessment. I will post instructions in a folder that says July 5th. Um, on July 6th, you will need to read, that's what an R means on the syllabus, read Plato's Apology. There will also be a YouTube video of me explaining and walking you through with Plato's Apology. On the 7th, you will read the US Constitution. Again, a video of me discussing it. And on the 8th, you will read the pamphlet All Minus One. It's about 50 pages, uh, but it is a graphic novel. So um, it's not as lengthy as maybe like a 50 page uh, short story. Um, there are some pictures in it, all right? Um, but I will also explain it. And then Friday of next week, again, you have three assignments due. This would be a lot to do if you try to do it in one morning. But again, take it one day at a time. Do your open mind assessment. Maybe you do that Monday night. Uh, you do your Plato's Apology paper, you like Tuesday into Wednesday, and you do your all minus one thing on Thursday and Friday, right? Just small little chunks. Everything is due by next Friday, the 9th of July, all right? That's how the syllabus works. Um, I'm, you know, sorry that we can't be in person for this class. Maybe you're not if you're on a different campus or uh, you have other things going on at the regular time this would be offered. So, um, this is how we're doing this this uh, this class. This is probably you know going to be the last online class for me for a while. We'll go back to in-person teaching in the fall. Um, but I know that there are some obstacles with uh, not just online learning that is synchronous, all right, that takes place live face to face, but there's an additional obstacle that comes with strictly web-based, where you and I never meet at the same time, where you're watching videos of me. Um, up on YouTube and then trying to do the assignments on your own. I know that that creates obstacles. I know that it can create confusion. Um, and so my goal is to be as organized, uh, to be as organized as possible, uh, to be as detail oriented as possible. So there's no confusion about what is due and when it is due. Uh, and also I'm gonna try to lay out the material as clearly as possible so that you don't have um, any hiccups with regard to understanding the material. Uh, but again, if you have questions, there's plenty of ways to reach me please reach out to me. Um, and again, just take it one day at a time. Every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, check into Canvas. There'll be a folder for that day. and just sort of start checking out the to-do list. So for today, you've already completed step one, which is go through the syllabus. Now you need to watch two videos um, that discuss what the humanities are, and then you can start working on your three list of 10 assignment. Um, in total, you know, each day takes you about two hours to complete. Um, and then you wake up the next morning and you do it all over again, all right? 
So that's all I have for the uh, Welcome to CAS 101. Again, my name is uh, Dr. Josh Phillips. Um, if you need me, you got my email address, my phone number, uh, please reach out. And I look forward to working with all of you uh, from now until mid-August.